You know, the holiday season, um, not to, to be a downer, but um, it can sometimes not be always joyous for everybody because it can bring uh, difficult memories and certain seasons can bring hard times. And so I know that for a fact. And, you know, for me, there is such a joy and, and so much fun and, and, and celebration in the Christmas season, but for some it is difficult. And I can tell you this from, from even experience, you know, as, as a lot of you guys know my testimony, we spent my, our first Christmas with, with my wife, Melissa, when she had cancer, um, was basically in the hospital. And so it wasn't very joyous. It wasn't a celebration. It was a, a time that was, it was scared. It was saying, God, what's going to happen? And, and it was difficult. It was a very difficult time. But the faithfulness of God for me has, has, <laughs> has blown me away because I, I look back at my life and I, and I see all those things, times when, when my mom would pray over the engine of the car because it wouldn't start. And it would start. And I'm like, this is crazy. I thought it was crazy back then. But now I, I see God's hand in, in, in all these situations where he showed himself faithful. When I get through a situation and I'm doubting, I look back and I say, oh my goodness, Lord, how many times have you been so faithful? Even I doubt and I complain and I worry and then here he is again being faithful. It's because there's a scripture that says that when we are faithless, he will remain faithful. For he can't disown himself. Basically what that's saying, and that's his nature to be faithful. Do you guys understand that? His nature is to be faithful. Now, to us, it may not look the same. Sometimes we may think, well, I wanted that faithfulness to look like this. Because we want a certain thing to happen the way we want it. But God's saying, trust me. I know what's best. Not only for, for you, but what's best in light of eternity. Because if we set our minds on things above, then we realize that the things that happen that sometimes dictates so much in our life that we put so much precedence in. He's saying, you guys, this is not it. It doesn't stop here. Your citizenship is in heaven. And then God's faithfulness now to sing with my wife. And our anniversary is in a week. 10 years. Come on, man. And three kids later, your beautiful children later. And we got married December 15th. So the redeeming factor, I didn't even think about it. We didn't plan that as we were, were getting married. We weren't saying, hey, it's been a, it was a difficult time in, in Christmas season for me. Um, let's get married so we can make it more joyous. It just happened, and not until, well, really, last night, I had this kind of like epiphany. I'm like, oh, my goodness. I didn't realize because God almost, in a sense, not erased my memory, but he showed himself so faithful that something joyous happened in the midst of pain and I look now at my family and my wife and 10 years later what God has done I'm able to be here with you guys celebrating the goodness and faithfulness of our king and lifting up his name because he is worthy to be praised amen and I'll sing this song that God gave me and I'm not even my name Melissa's and before she went to be a Jesus and it said hey I will walk by faith even when I cannot see because this broken road prepares your will for me. He's faithful, my friends. No matter what you're going through tonight, even though it may look like you can't get through it, he is holding you. He is leading you. Let him. Don't hold on to the pain. Let go of the pain. Sometimes we have, that's almost a control thing that we have. I want the pain because it makes me feel like, no, it's just holding you down. In the fullness of his grace and peace and mercy that he wants to bestow upon you so freely. Amen. Amen. It's all called walk by faith. I'm 
Oh, 